<gasps> it's seven o'clock. And I have no idea how to use this. Migraine. Got a knock on the door. <laughs> Nothing like a good amount of oil. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I'm Daniela from Through the Looking Glass. I make videos related to chronic illness. Welcome to today's vlog. So today is a very exciting day. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I've been looking forward to this camping trip and I was in a horrible fibromyalgia flare and I didn't know if I was going to be able to go. But yesterday I already felt a little bit better and then I woke up this morning feeling much, much better. And yes, we are going, we are making this happen. So because I wasn't well, I didn't prepare for this trip uh, in the sense of like buying food and things like that. I just pulled all our camping stuff out of the basement and had that on our dining table just to see, you know, if everything was functioning. But I didn't buy any groceries or packed clothes or anything like that because I didn't want to do all that and then not go. So I still need to do that today. groceries done. Problem now is I am coming down with a migraine. Uh, gotta go home quickly to grab my medication, which I should have it on me. I don't know. I don't. Stupid. So we're making sure the car is empty. Those are the seats that need to come out. So there are three rows of seats. One is four people, then three, then three. The four is out, the middle three is out, and now just the front one with three needs to come out. Oh, no! That's gonna suck. Camping and rain together, not a good idea. Some kind of dark clouds. This stays at the very edge. I think so, yeah. Like really dope. Yeah. They may disagree, but I think you're something special. They might do a lot of work. I'm already tired. Tell them now. Hey, I think you're really good. So the base of the bed is done. We just need to add the mattress. And there's still quite a bit of space here where we can put the cooler, little table, a couple of chairs. Nobody, nobody can take your shine away. Listen. Hey, I got a bone to pick as many want to counterfeit as many want another hit of beauty in a tighter fit escape inside the visual the money and the physical stuck inside the visible it's looking like a ritual I'm saying if you only felt what I feel about you then maybe you wouldn't need what they say you do and I see you fighting to the nail I hope it all goes well and this is how I feel now and I hope that you feel it now so we have finally left it is <gasps> it's seven o'clock. Wow. You're the star and you're moving. Uh huh. And I don't take it lightly. You gotta give yourself more credit for all that you've done. For all the little battles you've won. So sit back, relax, you've earned it. No need for stress, cause you're worth it. I'll take care of the rest. And I wanna say, well done, well done. And I hope that you feel it. Got to put some bug nets because it's mosquito season. The magnets just attached to the frame. And then we can leave the doors open and not have mosquitoes inside of them. 
And then we have another one here. This one I made it myself. I just bought a piece of like mesh, just a very see-through fabric, very thin. And it just gets attached with magnets. Just hold them in place. For the windows, it's kind of like a sleeve that goes on top and I just secure it with magnets. That way I can have the window open and then we just have air circulating through the whole inside of the van. Fresh, eh? Super fresh. Ta -da! And then at nine o'clock this morning, we got a knock on the door, <laughs> and it's the park ranger asking for our permits that we didn't have. So we had to explain ourselves. Anyways, that's all sorted out. So let's just have some breakfast now. I have no idea how to use this. It's a completely new fuel system. Is it? Yeah. There you go. That was easy. So I'm gonna try this new technique of trying to make a pancake in a bag. Massage the pancake. That's not the best pot for making pancakes. It's not one of those non-stick pots. Nothing like a good amount of oil. <laughs> That's a campy breakfast. We are in search of the beach. We think it's that way because we're using the GPS and it's showing that we're getting closer to the water. So I think eventually we're gonna hit the beach, but we have no idea where we're going. <laughs> we have been walking and walking and walking and the little yeah. thing on the GPS barely moves. Yeah. So we're gonna turn around, go back to our campsite and maybe drive to the beach tomorrow because the little thing is not even moving. Migraine. Good morning. We actually slept in today. It's past 10 o'clock. Welcome to the crib. So it's not very big, but enough for us to camp. Over here, we just have a Yeti cooler box with uh, food here we have the bed it's a full uh, double bed we have the pillows against the window here during the day because we just can't lounge like that and use this as a back support but at night we close the back doors and then the pillows go against the back door and then you have a full size bed. Over here we have some storage bins. I keep some toiletry, battery operated fan, the power bank here, just handy. We got some fairy lights for coziness. This is a really nice light that we have as well. So here under the bed, we have a box 
with our clothes. And over here we have our water bottle with the spout and that's what we use to do dishes outside. We just bring that outside and use the white basins to do the dishes. So here is the front of the van. We have a little table between the two seats and underneath there is a stool. And this stool also doubles up as a washroom. So you actually put a bag in there. If you have an emergency, you can just go and then just take the bag away and throw it away. Very simple but efficient setup. We can just arrive at a campsite and uh, be ready to sleep. No setup needed at all. So we finally decided to drive to the beach that we we're looking for yesterday. And it's, it's far, it's quite far. So we're just checking the little town of Port Borwell and then we found this marina and look at what we found. What is this guys? Is this a submarine? Uh, what is it doing on a lake? I don't get it. I don't know why there would be a submarine by a lake. picnic so this is it guys for this week's vlog we're heading home thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content and if you'd like to watch some more vlogs you can click here or here and i'll see you next week bye for now